Doggy You, and today we are going to answer the question, where does your service dog or emotional support animal fly when you're on the plane? Now everyone knows that persons with disabilities can fly with their service animal or ESA for free. What they don't know is where is that dog going? I often get asked, is the dog going to get its own seat? Is it going to fly underneath the plane? And the answer is no, it rides right at your feet. That's right, that space where your feet usually occupy, that's where your dog is gonna go. Now that's less of a problem with a small 15, 30 pound dog. Dog sits right between your feet and you're good to go. But I've flown with 30 plus dogs and most of them have been large German Shepherds or Labradors. And in those cases, it's where it gets a little bit squishy. So how do people handle putting a dog in such a small space? Well, there's a couple options. First is a lot of people will put their feet on top of the dog. They'll rest their feet lightly on the dog and the dog doesn't seem to mind. Other options include calling ahead to the airline and seeing if you can get bulkhead seating. Bulkhead seating is the seating at the front of the plane right after first class where there's no seats in front, just that barrier, and it gives you a lot of extra space there, a couple inches extra space for your dog to go. That can be super helpful. You can also ask the attendant if there's any seats with an empty seat next to you so you can have the dog spread out between the two seats on the floor. And finally, if you're traveling with another person, this tends to be less of a challenge because the other person usually doesn't mind if your dog is taking up some of their feet room. Or you can make friends with your neighbor. Hopefully they love dogs. Now let's talk about etiquette. Your service dog should not be up on a seat. They don't ride next to you on a seat, even if it's empty. Those are for people, not for dogs. They should be lying on the floor. They shouldn't be barking, biting, being super restless, growling, nipping. All of these things are not appropriate for service dogs and they're certainly not appropriate for flying a dog in tight quarters. So we wanna make sure our dog is super well behaved. You can practice that curl up into a ball or the riding of public transportation behavior by practicing on buses, shuttles, and subways where the dog can get a feel for that movement, the jolting, the crowds of people without having to get on an actual plane. It's really nice practice before you go for your first trip so the dog can start getting comfortable with public transportation. So that's it, that's the answer to the question, where does your dog ride? Your service dog or ESA is going to ride right at your feet. They're not gonna be in cargo. They're not gonna be taking up their own seat. You don't have to buy an extra seat. Your dog is going to be trained to ride right at your feet. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more, make sure you subscribe, press the thumbs up button, and comment below if you have questions. Happy training!